uh, almost uh, 90 percent, more than 90 percent of our farmlands are uh, cultivated under uh, irrigated, uh, sorry, uh, rain-fed conditions. Uh, our uh, success or failure depends on the monsoon pattern. Last year, most part of the India, we faced that uh, drought-like uh, condition. This year, uh, you might have heard about this Himalayan tsunami. Uh, yeah. The crops were inundated. So either we are we are caught between these two extremities, whether we face uh, drought or submergence. There used to be a specific pattern of uh, uh, monsoon uh, some uh, a decade back. And uh, as days, as years go by, uh, I mean, we will not be in a position to predict the uh, exact uh, 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 monsoon pattern. And uh, some of the minor pests, uh, they are uh, becoming uh, major pests now. Uh, maybe uh, it's because the, the new uh, ch ch change in the climate, uh, it induces this kind of uh, shift in the uh, pest regiment also. The, most of the uh, people affected are the small and marginal farmers. In India, more than 85% uh, of our farmers are uh, small and marginal farmers holding less than one or two hectares. They will be affected. More than, that is, 65% uh, of our population are depending on agriculture. So that means in case of any such uh, uh, adverse effect, more than 65% of our population will be affected due to this uh, global warming. Uh, so uh, we have to face that somehow. So the population has doubled uh, over the period of uh, 40, 50 years. And we have somehow uh, we have to increase productivity. That uh, productivity can be achieved only through technology and uh, not by any other magic formula. Uh, we farmers, we do understand that uh, technology has a role, very good role, crucial role to play in increasing our productivity. As a farmer, I feel we have not achieved the real yield potential of uh, such uh, high yielding varieties. So, uh, when BT cotton was introduced, I had my own apprehension. Uh, so then I decided in 2003, okay, why not I try uh, BT cotton alongside the not BT cotton and see for myself whether it is really good enough for me. I could see the difference. Uh, so then onwards I decided to go for uh, BT cotton. I used to take it to the Mandi, uh, both BT as well as non-BT cotton, and keep it separately. Without mentioning that it is a BT cotton, it fetched a better price because the traders and ginning mills and uh, spinning mills, they preferred cotton which is contamination free. Uh, we were rather importing uh, our uh, cotton requirements uh, from China and US and other countries, Egypt and such countries. Now we are self-sufficient and we are uh, able to export our uh, uh, cotton to other countries. So uh, we have uh, advanced to the level of second uh, uh, highest produ uh, cotton producer in the world. Uh, this is the uh, impact of technology which, uh, which helped to increase our uh, production. And To meet our challenges, first our voice must be heard. Uh, certainly our farmers are wise, uh, wise enough to understand what is uh, really good for them, what technology suits them. It is only the uh, educated elites, they are being carried away by the false propaganda by these uh, uh, anti-science and the anti-progress activists. I request to the uh, policy makers, take decisions only on scientific merits, not on, on the basis of political science.